All right. We're here. It's week one. It's Sunday. Hopefully. <laughs> as of as I'm putting this up. Hopefully this goes up Sunday. Not that I really care. I just decided to put it up Sunday with a couple other people that are also in the league. Um, yeah. So I'm very nervous. Again, this is the first tournament game I've ever played. Like, ever. So... I have no idea how this is going to be. I'm so, I'm so nervous. I get really nervous about, like, these kind of things. Like, like in anything, really, where it's, like, super high stakes. I I get so nervous. It's crazy. Um, and I'm sure you'll see that as the battle goes on. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I've, I've spent... I've, I've spent a good amount of time prepping. Um, and I feel confident in the team. Uh, now I just need to uh, make sure my plays are on point. And I've done some testing, so uh, I think I... The idea is that, you know, when I get into the match, I've seen everything before, right? Um, the idea is that nothing is a surprise. Except, you know, random crits or misses or whatever. Um, but yeah, so uh, this week we have a match against the Atlanta Altarias. <laughs> This, uh, this had my, the name of this doc had my real name, my, 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 my real non-YouTubist name in it, and I got jump scared by it. Um, so I changed that and then started the recording over. Um, yeah, very dangerous team. We got the single strike Urshifu, um, which is very dangerous, like, especially if it's banded. Oh my god. Bandit Urshifu is so dangerous for the team. Um, then I brought, or and then wait, I'm mixing up my words. There's, there's Lando, amazing defensive typing, you know, rocked U-turn, uh, ground rocked, uh, ground type rock type, uh, offensive combination, very good. Uh, Slow King's the Titan. You know, chill your reception into the Titan. You know, set up belly drum, do shit like that. Slow King is just good in general. Talonflame, uh, surprisingly, in testing, Talonflame was the most problematic for me. Like, it, it's, it's kind of odd, you know. Um, but yeah, T Talonflame, definitely got to watch out for that. <laughs> as weird as it sounds. Um, yeah, so Titan. Uh, very bulky. Uh, well, I guess it just has a lot of HP. It doesn't have much in the way of defenses. I think it's like 55-45 are its defenses. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while since I played RU. Um, played it too seriously, that is. Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, so Titan can get very dangerous. Um, Toad Scroll, I don't think it's coming this week. Um... But if it does, I have a plan for it. Bisharp could also be a problem um, for, you know, my triple fairy core. Um, very, uh, and that could definitely do some damage if I am too willy-nilly with handling it. Aloma Mola is really bulky. Um, passing wishes could definitely be annoying, but um, I don't know if you saw that. All right, whatever. Um, passing wishes can be annoying, but um, I don't think it's the end of the world in this matchup. It's not super dangerous. Now, Toxtricity is really dangerous. Uh, notice, I have a uh, distinct lack of special bulk that can take on poison type moves. Um, so, uh, Tinglu is really the only one that can handle it. I don't think any of these bottom three are coming. Maybe a Gudra comes, but um, I've also planned for that. I've planned for all of these mons. But um, it's just a matter of, you know, what 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 I plan for more, what I see as more of a threat. So, um, yeah, that's the, um, that is the team I'm going up against. So, what is my team? Now, let me tell you, I've cooked up some heat, all right? Let me show you something. Yeah. Um, look at this. Sheesh. Look at this. All right, all right, all right. So 
So we got the Iron Valiant. All right. It is Scarf Iron Valiant. Now I put that on it because of um, I, I I don't particularly like boost energy as an item. Um, it it's just the opportunity cost is you know. Well, the um not not so much the opportunity cost kind of, but um it's just the one time use of it. It's not consistent enough for me to want to use. You know, obviously the flexibility of switching moves and like being able to click call mind or whatever is fine, but. I thought Choice Scarf was fine because I needed four attacks anyway. So uh, the first thing that stands out is probably Ice Punch. Now, Ice Punch, I have EV'd it to two at KO Gudra, and it's also for Toad Scroll, and it's very much favored to KO Landorus from full uh, if I revenge kill it. So you know, like if I'm intimidated, it won't kill. But um, but even at like minus one, it does I think like 67 minimum. So a um, lot of damage there. Um, Moonblast, R Sphere, Psy Shock. Um, great stab combination. Hits most of the team. Um, yeah, Psy Shock for the Toxicity mainly. Um, but yeah, so uh, the EV spreads. Um, so this, after Choice Scarf, outruns uh, Max Speed Jolly Satitan in the snow. So um, if I really need to, after belly, after belly Drum has taken it down, I can use my special attack investment to get the Aura Sphere KO. Um, so that's kind of what that's for. Um, the 96 defense is to live a is to be favored to live a plus six Ice Shard from the Titan. I don't remember if that cal calc was for Jolly or Adamant. Um. No, it's favored to live Ice Shard from... No. Jolly Satitan plus 6 Ice Shard without rocks, 12.5% chance to Oko. Um, Adamant without rocks, plus 6 Ice Shard, 37.5% chance to KO. And if rocks are up and it is Adamant, I believe it's a... I believe it's a... I believe it's guaranteed? I'm not sure. Um... But, um, and then if it's Jolly with Rocks, plus six Ice Shard is 68.8% chance. Um, that's all to say, um, this defense actually does do something. Um, this, this is, this is a pretty good answer to the Titan. Um, it also, uh, doesn't get to it KO'd by Scarf Urshifu's Close Combat, uh, which is really useful. Um, unfortunately it does get to it KO'd by Bandit Urshifu. Uh, whether it's Jolly or Adamant. Actually, I think Jolly is a roll to a KO. I don't remember. Um, I've done a lot of calcs. I... <laughs> oh, if you saw my calcs. And then this um, 40 attack is just for Ice Punch. Um, it gives it the... I g it gives it a 97% chance to KO Spadef AV Gudra. Um, well, no. Just max HP with no defense uh, Gudra. So uh, that's what that's for. And obviously it kills after rocks. It kills Toad Scroll from, from full, needless to say. Um, the Primeape here, um, this is just uh, as a potential late game cleaning option. Um, yeah, bulk up, Drain Punch, Rage Fist, obviously really hard to stop, especially after Terra Water. Defiance for the uh, Landers Intimidate. Um, in hindsight, I could have uh, brought. Yeah, I, in hindsight, I could have brought. Uh, I could have chosen Terra Fire for Annihilate for um, Talon Flame, but um, I don't think it's a huge problem. U Turn is nice uh, just in case Slowbro wants to come in and Rage Fist isn't too powerful yet. Um, so that's what that's for. Uh, one sec. So, yeah, uh, I opted for physically defensive. I don't remember why. I remember, I think it was just because it's kind of hard to EV this thing um, when there's so many, like, huge, like, so many heavy hitters, like Satitan. Actually, this does, I think, plus one Primeape doesn't get to it KO'd by max attack, or, like, plus six Satitan Earthquake, I'm pretty sure. 
Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it, like, like I couldn't really EV it to live Toxtricity. Uh, obviously, it's a good Bisharp answer. Um, it doesn't even answer Urshifu that well. Like, Banded Close Combat does, I think, like, 75-ish. So that's crazy damage. Um, uh, next, we have Mousehold. Um... <laughs> I did, I did um, mix and match the moves a little bit. I had, like, U-turn here. I had, I think I, I had Bite for a little bit. But, um, yeah. No fancy EV spreads here. I just thought Max Max would be uh, the best idea here. I wanted to go Adamant, but I decided on Jolly just because um, it outspeeds Adamant to Titan in Snow. Um, so that was the idea behind that. Um, population bomb because obviously bullet seed to hit up um, Aloma Mola and Slow King, or mainly just Aloma Mola because I know that can very realistically run um, Rocky Helmet. Um, low kick for Bisharp, um, and and or like just making good mid ground plays against the Titan or or Shifu. I guess that said, population bomb is going to do big damage anyway. Whatever I. Just low kick for Bishop is good. Um, tidy up is tidy up is the main reason I brought Mousehold. If I'm being completely honest, Population Bomb's nice, but tidy up is just good for getting rid of hazards. Um, because I'm not a huge fan of Stealth Rock. The idea um, is that I'm gonna lead it against Landorus if that comes out. Um, at least if I think Landorus is gonna be the lead. If I see Toad Scroll in Team Preview, maybe. Actually, now that I think about it, Population Bomb probably kills. I didn't run that Calc, but. Uh, it probably does kill if I hit all of mine. I remember in testing, I uh, <laughs> I I missed my very first population bomb even with wide lens, so that bodes well, surely. Um, one sec. Yeah, um, just taking care of some scheduling things. Um, so, what am I trying to show? Right, um, this is mainly just for hazard removal because I'm not a huge fan of rocks in this matchup. And um, Landorus, Jolly Landorus Earthquake never kills Mousehold, um, which is really nice. Um, so uh, I thought Mousehold would be a decent bring here. Um, I was looking for a last. Um, I had these five Mons, and um, I guess you already saw the screen tilt. Don't 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 go back and look at that. Don't go back and look at that. I'll explain it in a bit. Um, but yeah, I. I I settled on Electros, um, not because it like absolutely washes the team or whatever. I just think it's a nice bulky pivot. Um, uh, it's mainly just invested defensively. Assault Vest is really nice. Um, put a little bit into attack. Um, the 16 attack, I um, I forget what this attack and special attack does, um, if I'm being honest. I know it does something, trust me. but. Um, yeah, so th th this does something, I promise. But um, yeah, Volt Switch for pivoting out. Do I want U turn over Wild Charge? Do I make the last minute change? Hmm. I just don't want to like get sauced by Lando. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, wild Charge for Slow King. Stomping Tantrum is for Toxtricity because I believe I don't get to it KO'd by... I, I, it's, at the very least, it's a roll to get to it KO'd by Spec Sludge Bomb. Um, of course, I get to it KO'd by Boom Burst even before Terra because Toxtricity is the dumbest thing ever. Um, Giga Drain is just for um, healing. I don't see myself clicking it too much, but whatever, right? Um, Volt Switch is just a nice pivot move, again. Um, this is just m meant to serve as a bulky pivot. This, uh, I, I decide to go physically defensive. First of all, if you're running where the speed invest, if you're, what did I? If you're wondering where the speed investment is, I hate running speed on Screamtail. I think it is so antithetical to what this mon wants to do. If you're trying to, like, the main argument I've seen for running speed on Screamtail is to outrun Pomot and Yu Yu, and it's like, okay, 
Yeah, b but it clicks double shock and it doesn't care how much bulk you have. If that thing Terra Electric double shocks, you're getting to it KO'd unless you resist it. All right. Um, tangent over. Um, this is mainly just for Scarf Urshifu. Um, it also cannot be touched by um, Landorus in the slightest. Uh, it helps against the Titan if it does end up getting to plus six. Um, I forget. Like, I, I did so many calcs, I don't remember all of them. But, uh, yeah, I just threw the rest into Spadaf, just because why not, right? Sunny Day is for Chili Reception, just so it can't get uh, Slush Rush onto the Titan. Encore is to lock it into Belly Drum. Wish is there for that nice support, in case I want to heal up, you know, say, Ting Lu or Primeape, right? Um, and, uh, yeah. Dazzling Gleam, Uninvested, Chaos, or Shifu, I did check. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this set. And then Ting Lu, um, <clears throat> this is this is going to be my Toxtricity answer, honestly. Um, I just, I, I honestly had to go max max here. Um, I'm not proud of it, but um, I, I, I needed the spit F, right? Because after, after ability, this thing's uh, special defense stat is, is effectively um, 378, I think? I don't know. 370 something. So, a lot of special defense. Uh, I went with double hazards here Earthquake, Whirlwind, uh, Earthquake, Two KOs, um, EV Light, Bisharp. Um, it's, it's just good. Uh, I was going to go Ruination, but I don't think I really need it on this team with Slow Kicking having Regenerator. I guess it would be nice to be able to hit Landorus, but um, I have other ways of doing that. Um, so yeah, that's the team. Uh, I will cut back to when I'm in the match. I'm very nervous, but uh, also very excited to do my first tournament game ever. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Okay, all right, I tested this exact, I tested against this exact team. <sighs> okay, I've, I've tested against this exact team. I don't know what the EVs are. <sighs> okay, every time I led Mousehold, I'm sticking to that. Come on, we need to see lead Lando. Lead Lando, let's go, let's go. Holy shit. I I don't remember if this kills. Let's see. Lander Asterion. If Intimidate is active, Population Bomb never kills. Okay. Okay. I can tidy up here and get my attack back. At that point, I'm risking... At that at that point, I'm risking earthquake crit. <laughs> okay, I'm risking earthquake crit, but I can revenge kill with valiant if I really need to. If it's scarf rocks, that would also that would be ideal. Scarf rocks would be ideal. It's not likely, but I will I would definitely like it. Alternatively, if they go to Talonflame, I think 10 hits kills after burn. I'm like 99% sure. I'm tidying up. He U-turns. Okay. Okay, huge. Huge. What does he go into? What does he go into? What's the swap? Urshifu would not be great. Urshifu would not be great. I tidied it up, so now I outrun Scarf Toxtricity and Adamant's the Titan in the Snow. I should Oko Defensive Galarian Slow King. Let's, er, uh, Defensive Slow King. Come on. Show me that calc. Show me that calc. I do. Okay. There's the Slow King. We do see it. Let's go. No Rocky Helmets, come on. Come on, no misses, no Rocky Helmets. Okay, no Rocky Helmet. Let's go. Let's go. We got it. 
We got it. Uh, did Voltseed actually kill there? It didn't. Okay. I am dead to... I'm dead to Earthquake. <sighs> okay, so... Let's, let's analyze what's going on here. Sloking is dead, which means Satitan is essentially a non-issue, which is amazing. Alright? And there's no defensive pivot to stop... There's no more... Um, well, there is a Fighting Resist. There's also two Fairy Resists. Okay. Iron Valiant doesn't look amazing just yet. There's... God, there's three Fairy Resists. Okay. Um, but Moonblast is a little bit harder to switch into now. So is Psy Shock, um, which is really nice. Okay. So, um, let's see. Screamtail. Lander Therian. If memory serves, Earthquake does nothing. Earthquake doesn't do anything. Okay. And, okay. Earthquake does kill me from this range. It does. Okay. And I am... Oh, I was I was neutral mouse. Okay, whatever. I'm at minus one. Shit. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Yeah, intimidate is active. What do I do here? I think I population bomb. I take my damage. Oh, it's Rocky Helmet. Okay, it's haunted. It's haunted. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I skipped the turn. I, I could not bear to watch that. That's Rocky Helmet Landorus? Alright, let's find out what damage that is. Okay. That is defensive. That's very defensive. Okay. So, um, five. Okay, we need to make the calc say Population Bomb does 50. Um, Lax, uh, or Impish, right. Okay. It's like max defense. Okay. So. Let's see. Landorus. Therian into. Okay. 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 I can't deny rocks anymore. I can't. Unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. That's actually super unfortunate. I have to go Valiant and hope he, um... I have to go Valiant and hope he, um... Just takes damage. Because I'm, not, I'm fine with taking damage on Valiant. <sighs> Alright. Not a great position to be in. Uh, defensive Landris is not what I test against. I test against uh, just... I tested against Scarf and Leftovers Landris. I guess I could have tested, tested against defensive. But this is fine. Making adjustments on the fly. 44. We expected that. We see the U-turn. That's actually insane. That is really good. Talonflame. Alright. Um, what do we do here? We go We go. Uh, Screamtail always. Every single time. Um... And we set up a wish, predicting a switch into Toxtricity. Brave Bird. Actually, let's gauge damage. Let's gauge damage. Okay. Um, Talonflame. Brave Bird. Okay. Timid. Let's just say it's Jolly, because it wouldn't be Jolly. Or, it wouldn't be Timid if it had Brave Bird. Uh, that tracks. It was a max roll. Um, that's fine, though. Because we are physically defensive. Okay, good. We got that. We got that. And so now, we wish pass into Electros. And we get to gauge damage on Toxtricity. This is a really important turn. Actually, I could go into either this or Tinglu. Okay. Toxtricity. Wall Breaker. Okay. If it's Terra Normals, that's not great. However, the uh, the wish will mitigate a lot of that. So this is really good for gauging damage. 
All right. As soon as I go into Ting Lu, I'm going to see the Terra Normal, if not right now. Sludge Bomb does 15.2. That, ooh, that's really un... That's really unlucky. That is really unlucky. Okay. Okay. Sludge Bomb, 15. Okay. That is choice specs. That's choice specs. Okay, I'm getting up. What do I want to get up here? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up a layer of spikes. Not great. Uh, hold on. Slash learn. Landorus. Therian. Spikes. It doesn't get spikes. Okay. I just had to make sure because I don't play OU. We go into Screamtail here on the U-turn. Okay. <sighs> okay. Pretty aggressive switch. Um, How is he playing so far? Okay. He looks to be attacking what's in front of him, right? However, I don't think that's grounds for reasoning that he will sludge bomb here. I'm going to try and bait out the Terra Normal because that'll make Moonblast look a lot better. He Volt Switches. Okay, there we go. And now I have a, a Wish lined up that it's going to be really hard for him to punish. Okay. So Titan comes in. All right. I know what to do. It's time. It's boots. Wait, it's boots. Okay. Um. Actually, not great. I'll dazzling gleam here. I'm gonna dazzling gleam. As you play rough. Oh. Okay. I guess he expected the primate or something. Uh, play rough gets a crit. Not amazing, but that's okay. Because now I get to line up another Wish, I'm going to predict the switch as you Earthquake. He's just giving me damage. That's really huge. Okay. Toxtricity comes back in. It takes Spikes. It takes Dazzling Gleam. That's amazing. Okay. So, I'm going to Wish again because I get a lot of them. No. No. Oh my god. That's actually so unlucky. That's so bad. Oh my god. Okay. Wall breaker. Sex shock kills. Moonblast doesn't. What is it doing to the Titan? Um. Use it. Okay, whatever. Moonblast does about 50 to the Titan. It doesn't kill from this range. God, this is so bad. This is so bad. I thought. I thought I had the set to ignore spectators. Okay. Okay. Um. God, if that if that oh if that Urshifu comes in, it's so bad. What do I do here? Oh God. If I go to an, if I go to, if I go to Primate. Oh, okay, if I go to Primate. Does the wish come true? I don't know if it comes true. Oh my god. This is really bad. Okay. It's locked into Sludge Bomb, we know that. How much does that do to Primate? Sludge Bomb? That does so much to Primate, it's not even funny. If Rage Fist is 100 base power, it does enough to put it in Moonblast range. Does U-Turn put it into Moonblast range? It does. Uh, it would make it a roll, which I'm not feeling too good about. Alright, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll Rage Fist here. I don't think there's any consequence to that. Okay, if we see the Urshifu, I know I don't get, I never get O-Code. I know that much. So I can throw off a Drain Punch, which would be really nice damage. Oh, we see the Defiant. Rage Fist doesn't pick up the kill. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. 
Um, what do I do here? I bulk up. I'm gonna bulk up. I'm gonna send it. Or do I Rage Fist on the U-turn? I'm gonna- I'm gonna bulk up. Show me the U-turn. There we go. Okay. That did nothing. Perfect. There we go. Alright. Conflame comes in. Not amazing. Not amazing. I do have Terra Water for the for the Brave Bird. Is it time? Is it time to Terra Water? Okay. Here's what I can do. I don't particularly like Terra Water here because it risks uh, Will-O-Wisp. Which isn't super likely. But I don't want... I don't want to... It does get Rage Fist. I don't want to risk Burn. I don't want to take that chance. I think what I do here is I go Electros because it covers Burn. As well as being able to mid-ground with Giga Drain if I think he's going to go Lando. Additionally, if he goes Toxtricity, I can wear down with Spikes, threaten out with Ting Lu, and when it comes back in for a second time, it'll be in range of Moonblast. Then my only problem is to Titan. Which I can keep Annihilate healthy for. I'm gonna go Electros. You brave birds. Okay. And now, I have to make the play. Does this kill? Landorus. Choice Scarf. Uh, actually. Landorus, are you defensive? Is in fish. Giga Drain. It does not kill. Oh god, it doesn't kill. Toxtricity? Huge. Huge. That's actually massive. That is massive. I'm gonna Stomping Tantrum here. He turned normal Broom Burst. Electros holds. We don't get the kill, but that's okay. That's A-OK. -okay. okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, now, I go Iron Valiant. Oh god, not having, oh, not having the Electros is super bad. God, okay. So now, I Moonblast. The Town Flame is in. This is a problem. Brave Bird, okay. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna EQ on the roost. I'm gonna EQ on the roost. It's one hell of a play, but I gotta make it. He goes Landorus. Okay. Not great. Not, not great. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. That poison really sucks. U turn. Rage Fist is now at 150. And now, I think I go for Terra Water into Bulk Up. Because Toxtricity can't threaten me. Where's Primeape? Okay. Primeape is at neutral. Um, Town Flame, Offensive Utility. Or Defensive Utility. Whatever. Let's just assume no defense. Wait, no. Wait, okay. This this one doesn't matter. I, I, where? Um, Talon Flame. Utility. Rage Fist. If it's at 150, it two it KOs at plus one. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. Not what we need right now. Not mouse hold. Primeape. Talon flame. Offensive or utility. 150. I can 2 a KO from here. The only problem is Will O Wisp. Let's see. How much. How much does uh, Brave Bird do? 
a bit too much for my liking, but I can't do anything about it. I'm going to Terra Water. Okay. I'm a Rage Fist now. Rage Fist is at 200. Put that in the calc. Come on. Will O Wisp? Okay, not amazing. Rage Fist doesn't pick up the KO. Unfortunate. I'm going to bulk up here. I'm going to bulk up. Lando T is in. I'm going to Drain Punch here. Does it kill Lando T? Does it kill Lando T? Okay. After Intimidate, Drain Punch does kill. What? Oh, because I'm burned. Oh my god, I'm actually so bad at the game. Oh no. Oh god. This is fine. This is fine. God. Actually, wait. Did I win? I think I win. Wait, 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 wait. I think I win. Holy shit. Holy shit. I, I win. Right? Uh, careful nature. Oh god, our sphere doesn't kill. It's really gonna have to come down to what that Talon Flame set is. Oh my god. I'm a Rage Fist here. No reason not to. Alright, I faint. I don't know what that's the Titan spread is. Okay. For the love of God, please kill. Let's go! Crit? Holy shit. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Scarf Iron Valiant, baby. Let's fucking go. Oh my god. Urshiku comes in. I moon blast. I don't know what you could have for me. There's nothing you could have, right? I'm Choice Scarf. I don't know. If you expect me to, like, just speed creep your Talon Flame, it ain't gonna work. Sucker Punch won't do enough. Oh my god, I win. So Titan. I can't kill from here. I'm gonna sack. He belly drums. Holy shit. Come on. Come on, I need to see the Dawn Bone Jones won the battle. Come on. Okay. With zero attack investment. And the Titan being at 77%. There's a... There are two rolls that don't kill. There are two rolls. GG. Come on. Weak fighting. Holy shit, we did it. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was amazing. That was so good. Post game interview. Oh, he left. He left. That was amazing. I'll, I'll hop in. I'll hop in lounge. Oh my god. That was insane from start to finish.
the sludge bomb poison was insane. I wasn't expecting defensive um, Landorus. That Rocky Helmet really did me in. I took care of that Slow King. You best believe I was not letting that thing through. And then the Scarf Iron Valiant came through. Let's go. Did I even get any? I didn't really get that lucky. Electros, Electros living on one was so good. It didn't matter, but that was really cool. That was actually super cool. Oh my god. Oh, my heart's pounding out of my chest. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a post game interview. Um, oh my god. I was going back, I was going like back and forth about these, but um, yeah. Whoo. Uh, that thrill. That first tournament game thrill. I'm one for one. I'm one for one, baby. Let's go. Uh All right, I'll see you in the I'll see you in the voice chat or in the interview. Holy shit. That was a really scary. That was terrifying. <laughs> Is it scary? Was, that was really scary. I'm really glad I brought Scarf Valiant. That saved me in the end game. Oh, it was Scarf. Wait, that means I would have never. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I cause I would have outspeed because I was running 365 speed just to outspeed your Iron Valiant. Yeah, cause I was thinking, oh, like if he's, I I was wondering like if you were trying to speed create my Iron Valiant in whatever way. I'm like, no, that's not gonna work. Uh, cause the idea was, um, I was trying to deny the Titan setup. Um, my screen tail set had Sunny Day and Encore on it, to just to deny the Titan. Really, that's fair. Yeah, so I was just really trying to kill the Titan and Urshifu and set up the Iron Valiant end game. I didn't expect a defensive Lando though. It's a good bring, but I just didn't test against it. Uh oh, my interview is gonna sound really bad. No, don't, don't worry about it. Also, I'm recording right now, but... I, I have a question for you, Sean. Yeah. What, what happened with the, the slow king? Oh, way at the start? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let, let me, I'm, I'm watching what? what happened. Population bomb. Uh, I didn't know what population bomb did. Uh, uh <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> literally, literally what it was. I've never, I've never played against an obstacle. Yeah. Th this is, like, literally, like, my first, like, formatted game I've played. Yeah. Gen 9. So. Your first ever Gen 9 match? No, I've played a couple of randos. Yeah. I've played like five randos. <laughs> so, so yeah, your first like team built match. Yeah, it was, it was, it was. I also didn't know how to use the Titan, like at all, because I lost Slow King, and I was like, "Fuck, what do I do? What do I do? What do I?" Yeah. Do? And then I just kept using it to like tank random bullshit. Yeah. Because I... your play was. The Titan was was to use it to kill Valiant at the end. You had to get Valiant locked into a move that didn't kill the Titan and just win the sack war at the yeah. end. And you were really close to doing that. Yeah. I didn't know that it was that that Valiant was scarfed. Oh. Yeah. I think, I think it Valiant... was it was scarfed uh, with just enough speed to outrun Jolly the Titan in the snow and um, Aura Sphere was EV'd to kill the Titan after Belly Drum and Citrus Berry. So I should have known that. That's I why think, I think the end game the Valiant would always want to because I think Aura Sphere probably okos for Shifu too. It does. I it do, it does just barely get the Oko. I checked. Nice. Um, his core his core uh, defensive Landorus with the Talon Core and the Slow King like really really could have gave uh, your team so much trouble. Um, yeah, in testing like yeah. Talon Flame was a huge problem in testing. Definitely. I, it, because of the Brave Bird on Talon Flame, it was such a shame that he didn't run Hurricane. Um, oh. <laughs> Uh, I missed. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> but even then, like, yeah. You're, you're doing like 20 something. Like, yeah. That's insane for damage. I tell you, though, when you got the double sludge bomb poison, my heart sank. <laughs> oh, my I heart so sank. <laughs> I was like, I felt so bad. Yeah. Uh, there was. Especially you put in, uh, put in work, too, though. I know. Yeah, well, like, if you. Oh, nice. I'll be honest. 
mess with Bisham, I kind of was expecting you to just Terra normal immediately. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. There were no switches for it. Yeah, I was literally in prep. I was like scrambling for Terra normal boom burst answers. Oh really? I it thought Pledge was... Bomb was better against Green Tail, so I didn't do it. It's, uh, I mean, technically, technically it is. It is. Technically really? it is better, but uh, Terra normal boom burst is just like way better. Well, like. Sludge Bomb's barely better, to the point where Terra Normal Boom I think Burst is I got the point. No, Terra Normal Boom Burst is better because it gets boosted by, uh, or by the ability. Punk Rock, Punk Rock. yeah. Uh, okay. I think it, I think it's like, like, Boom Burst is like 182, and then, you know, then Sludge Bomb sad. is, yeah, and then Sludge Bomb is 180 after super effective, so. Either way, that Toxicity was a huge threat. I'm pretty sure, does Terra Normal Boom Burst 2 hit Oko? Yeah, it was um, max spadef. It it did oko. It had to be terra normal though, and specs. So, That's so insane. it's That's ridiculous. It was, think, right? Yeah, it's a it's just an insane wall breaker. There's not much you can do about it. You don't switch into toxicity. Toxicity switches into you. Toxicity uh, gets a kill. <laughs> it, it it takes it takes a kill with it. I mean, it was a very close match though. Right? No, yeah. that was that was a very I close match. The bag on the. Yeah. I think letting the talent flame get so low. No, I think that the and problem Sacking was Slowking Slow yeah. dying. If you, I think if Slowking was alive in that range, it would be the one. Well, I think if I just pop directly into Landorus there, instead of letting Slowking die, then it would have been better. Yeah. Um, or just like turn one, just like taunting and then clicking rocks to stop the. Because if he population bombs, he's like hitting himself a ton. Yeah. I, I didn't know that what population. I should have told I should have told you that. that. That's why I wanted you to have Rocky Helmet on him, on. I know that's why you told me that Rocky Helmet's good, but. You know I I would have prepped a lot I differently did. if I knew you were helping him build Harry. <laughs> okay, okay. In, in, in his defense, in his defense, we literally built the team at six o'clock. <laughs> we built the team in one minute. Sham called me. I I gave Sham some suggestions earlier in the day. But Sean fucking hits me up on Discord at 6 p.m. Like, uh, I don't have a team yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I, I had like, I had like default smoke on set. Oh. Uh, it, almost, it almost worked. The only thing we changed, the only uh, EV spread we changed was, um, we changed Talonflame to barely have speed, uh, Valiant. Uh, Valiant. Yeah. And we also just changed Urshifu's item to Punching Glove. I also changed. Oh. Glove. Like way back. Yeah, I think I think changing Urshifu's item to Punching Glove was a pretty big mistake because um like if you just like yeah, look no, at my team and look at Choice Band, it's like night and day. Well, you can pretty much always switch into uh Wicked Blow or CC with Valiant. Well, no, actually I was testing against Adamant Band Urshifu. CC to it KO'd. Even uh I had not Damn. I had ninety I had ninety six defense EVs and it's still two at KO'd. So you only switched into it once. Oh but then it's like a kind of a fifty fifty between uh Talon or between uh Screamtail and uh Valiant, right? Yeah. I, it's a, it takes Wicked Blow pretty well. Yeah, um I think Band of Wicked Blow is like thirty five or something. Yeah, that's that's nothing. Yeah, so it just creates a lot of fifty fifties was the issue. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, amazing. Yeah. That the, was so fun. Yeah, the match was really fun. That's like my first tournament game ever. So the thrill is like this is both played really well. Yeah, this is the peak high for me. Um you you did play very well. Um, you know, I hope to see you get some wins later in the season. So looking forward to seeing more of your games. Yeah, I, I same to you. I, I, I think that you have a very solid team and um um uh i lost my entire train of thought i'm sorry no worries no uh, worries i appreciate it though i appreciate I it i think that hmm? iron valiant is a very solid pokemon to build around because yeah. it's a huge threat yeah i actually had a up yeah, thank you. I had an ice punch. I had ice punch on it as well for Gudra or Toad Scroll. I'll put the set in the oh, chat. Because well, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna I say, called that. I called that ice punch. I too. was gonna say maybe instead of Rishifu, we should bring Gudra or. Uh, yeah. Or, uh, I um. Actually, was the other one I was thinking. I I EV'd to um to it KO Gudra. So, 
I was I was not losing to that thing, so yeah, I'm gonna stop the recording. Yeah. Yeah, true. So Gudra is just so bad. <laughs> like our Shifu was maybe just not the play to bring. Yeah. Our Shifu I mean, didn't literally. I think our Shifu is really good. It's just you had to position for it. Yeah. Yeah, our Shifu brings a lot of pressure to team building. It does. Yeah. Um, like you have to prepare for it. Very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> probably could have came out on uh, Prime Ape and killed it with Wicked Blow too. That was also an option. Yeah, I in the calc, I I was like I was 248 HP and then 208 defense with Impish. Banded close combat does 75. How much does Wicked Blow do? I it, I don't think it two KOs, but because it's a guaranteed crit. Yeah, because it, so it, it goes through your defense boost. Uh, yeah. That yeah. Would be smart. Yeah, I kind of just like ignored a I lot think, of stuff. Did you that I also know. did you also not know how um, rage fists work? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I, that's why I, I saw the like, DT this rage fist. Kind of I don't know. I'm just gonna tell her to look it up just so she knows what it what it does. <laughs> so yeah, the, I don't know any the, of the new moves. The plus fifty that it gets every time you hit it, it persists yeah. like even after it switches. Yeah, even if even if you bring it back with revival blessing, it also keeps those, which I think is really funny. Yeah. So so it's it's you hit rage fist or rage fist something hits uh, it, you. Yes. So when so you like, U-turn on it, it gets another 50 base power. Oh, I yeah. was like U-turning on that. And you U-turn on it like three times. Yeah, I was like, yes, let's go. Free Rage Fist power. I kept into fucking Intimidate and all this bullshit. What was that, uh, what was the Prime Ape's last move slot? Uh, it was Drain Punch, Rage Fist, Bulk Up U-turn. Oh, so it didn't have rest. We, we I, were scared of, like, me and Harry were watching. I'm like, if he clicks rest, it's over. It's oh, just over. I guess, I guess rest would have worked fine. I just didn't want to... Like, I was considering it, but then it's like, okay, well, I'm giving up three turns at that point. Primeape's not really that bulky, so it's like, eh, whatever. Fair enough. Fair. I just, I just brought U-turn for, like, Slow King if I wanted to, like, if, like, if Rage Fist was low power, so. I mean, it, it, it didn't really do much. I just needed three moves at the end of the day. Yeah. I think that yeah. if Shom knew what all the Gen 9 Pokemon did, I feel like oh, it would have been a completely like different outcome. Know. I mean, but yeah. that's all me. Like, I could have yeah, done for research, sure. and I just didn't. Was, so. your, uh, was your Tinglu uh, two hazards whirlwind earthquake? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it could have been a rock move for time. Yeah, I was theorizing rock move. I was scared move. of the rock move, too, the entire time. Yeah. I, what I would have done is I would have put rocks on uh, uh, Primeape, and then Primeape. Shocking yeah. Little Tinglu. Yeah, I guess in hindsight, I could have made the Tinglu a bit better. I made it. I made that set pretty quickly, but, um, okay. Fair enough. yeah. Um, yeah. there's a lot of things that could have gone wrong. Uh, oh, yeah. it, it it was it was a very it was a huge toss up in terms of just matchup alone. So I agree. Yeah. Well, it, either way, it was a very close game. It was a very good game. Yeah. It was a very good. Game. Me, me and Harry and Call were going back and forth, be like, "Oh, Sean just wins that. Oh, Don just wins that." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I uh, that was that was really scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs>